Welcome STEM engineers. Today we are going to be building paper boats and testing them for weight. All right, I know. You probably never expected to hear paper and boats in the same challenge, but that's what we're going to do. In addition, the only other supply you have to use is scissors. No tape in this challenge. This is going to be a tricky one, but think about it. How can you use a sheet of paper and make it into a boat that can be buoyant, can displace water so that you can add weight to it, and that doesn't take on water? So think about that for a minute, and then I'll share my ideas with you. So my first thought, if I only have one sheet of paper and I know that paper can start to absorb water and then it loses its buoyancy, is that I'm going to fold it. I'm going to make it two-ply. And by making it two-ply, maybe that will make it buoyant for a little while longer. Now I can't use this probably as just a flat sheet of paper because I think it's going to take on water. If we know anything about boats, we know that they're curved to prevent the water from getting into it. So I'm gonna to have to think about how, since I'm not able to use tape, how I could fold this to make it into a boat shape. Now for my first test, I'm thinking a rectangle, but I know that if I fold up the edges of a rectangle, I'm not going to be able to fold these edges. So I have to think about how I could fold these edges and not allow it to take on water. Because if I do it the way it is right now, it's going to look like that. Hmm. I think I have an idea, but I'm not going to show you my idea. I'll just show you the end result. All right, I have my boat. I have my bucket of gemstones. It's time to test. So I'm going to put my boat in the water gently and then start testing quickly because I'm not positive because I'm not positive how long this will stay afloat. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's doing better than I expected already. I am being careful to spread out my gemstones evenly because I don't want a lot of weight in one area. I can see it coming through my boat. especially right in the middle. Wow, that held a lot more than I thought it was going to. That was 62. I actually had 63 gemstones in there, but one of them floated when the boat sank, so I'm not counting that one. So 62 gemstones. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is make another paper boat and see if it can do even better than this one if I try a different style. Actually, the next thing I'm gonna go do is get my original paper boat from my dog who is eating it right now. <laughs> then I'm gonna come back and make my next paper boat and test it out. 